What's up everyone, it's Jason here with Red Bee Labs and welcome to the channel. Today Apple had WWDC and there was a lot of things that they revealed today, but I'm gonna go over everything from iOS 14. There were a lot, a lot of features released. Now, WWDC was kind of cool. I mean, they had a pre-recorded video, but I mean, just everything they were doing in the video, <laughs> the running around, the jokes, just the presentation all together, made you feel like, like you were there. I mean, it, it didn't feel like, you know, we're in quarantine and we can't be there. It, it just really felt good. It, I was amused the whole time and I really enjoyed it. So let's jump into iOS 14. First up, the home screen and the new app library. So if you have a bunch of different home screens, like I have like seven or eight, and I wanted to go ahead and hide them. I mean, I know they don't scroll past like the second page. I mean, they even said that in the announcement on WWDC. They were like, look, most people don't even go past the second screen. You forget about the apps there. Most of the time I use the universal search anyway. So, you know, it was good just getting rid of them. So they created this and this actually puts all of them together. It's got your suggested at the top. You're recently added. Um, you can just click right on there and it breaks out all of the different apps right at your fingertips. Uh, if you wanted to hide your actual um, pages, you just press and hold. You wanna click down here, boom. And it has all the screens. So I can click here, 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 and here. Go ahead and hit it done. And look, now all my pages are back. You still get the app library at the end, even if you have those pages there, but you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again because I'm gonna turn that off. So you tap that, you turn these off. There you go, and done. Boom. Next up, you may already see widgets. So right now I've got the weather widget here and I got my calendar widget right here. But those are the same. Like when you swipe over, you'll have um, a bunch of widgets on the side right here and you can go down to the bottom and you can edit these. You can also, sorry, you can also press and hold. And then there's a plus that comes right up in the corner right here and you just hit plus and it brings you to all your different widgets. And what's cool about these are like, let's click on the fitness one. They come in different shapes sizes so i mean there's only two but all you do is you just click it and it adds it right to the home screen and another cool thing is you can grab the widget and the widget just adjusts the screen for you so i want it there there i just adjust it for you i'll throw it back up there okay guys now picture in picture so i think this is going to be awesome i know um a lot of these features already that android you know, has had for years, but you know, we're on the iPhone. So, hey, look, we finally got picture in picture and it's pretty awesome. So I'm just going to iTunes. Um, I'm just going to play a trailer and right here, the video plays. Then we want to do something else, slide it up and there you go. Picture in picture. I think that is so awesome. I mean, so many times I want to just watch a video outside and read an article, multitask, do something different, but, uh, you know, you can't. And now iOS 14, you can. So, you know, thank you, Apple. Now, I'm not sure if YouTube, I'm sorry, I'm not sure when YouTube is going to get this, but I'm sure all the developers are going to go through and take care of it so that all of the apps, all the video apps are now going to probably do the picture in picture. Okay, guys, and I'm getting a call now. And this is the non-intrusive calls, which Apple, thank you so much. I love that it's just right there. You can either end it, accept the call, or you can swipe it away to end it. And I have been waiting for this for so long. I was so tired of having my whole screen taken up while I'm doing something or um, doing an airdrop with someone and someone calls and it interrupts it or just anything that I could possibly be doing that that irritating full screen thing would just take over. All right, now universal search. So you never always know to search, you just swipe down. But now I can, swipe and I can look for my wife. It tells me everything, gives me all the information on the caller, um, calendar entries, all kind of stuff. You can also swipe over and you can use that search from right here as well. 
Now, this is, to me, pretty awesome because, you know, I, I use I use that for everything. Right now, when I want to look for an app, I just, I will type in Netflix and you can launch the app right there. Another way to get to it is from the app library. From the app library, you can just go ahead and type whatever app you want. Like if I want Netflix, it will, or if I spell it right, if I get Netflix, pop right up and I can jump right in. So what I also love about Universal Search is as it states, it's universal. So like I said, it goes to everything, uh, your texts, your emails, anything that you've allowed it access to, it's going to go through and bring up all that information. So it's kind of like um, on the Mac, you know, you command spacebar, pulls it up, you have that universal search and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Next up is everyone's favorite assistant. <laughs> okay, uh, a an assistant. Um, it is Siri, and right now it will not, it'll do like the calls did. It will not take up the whole screen anymore. Um, let me test her out. Boom, look at that. What time is it? Boom, tells you right at the top. Now, I have my phone on Do Not Disturb right now, so she won't speak out loud. So that's another thing. When the phone is silent or on vibrate, she will not speak out loud, which is, is awesome too, because you're just out and about, you got all, you got your sound down and then you push to ask her a simple question and she's screaming it to everybody there. So that's a, another wonderful feature. Um, I don't really use Siri that often, but I just, I like the whole animations. Let me show you again. Uh, and she's getting better. Her shortcuts are a lot better. I need to jump into those and kind of figure those out a little bit. Maybe I'll use her a little bit more. But, you know, they're trying to make her better. But, you know, every iteration she gets better. She does what she needs to do. She's amazing at texting, you know, bringing up different apps, things like that. But, you know, Apple also released a Translate app. So let's look her up. Translate. And that's the new app. And it does auto detection of whatever language you're using. So let me see. I don't know much, but here we go. Um, Todos los días. Boom. So it automatically knew it was Spanish and then it translated it right away. So that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I usually use Google Translate, but now, I mean, with this already having it there, I'm sure now we can start asking Siri to translate different things and, uh, you know, it's one step, you know, that I don't have to run to another app and get. We all know that Apple is so about the privacy. And a lot of people, since we're we're home due to the virus, are constantly doing video chats. And so now Apple has a little indicator that lets you know when you're recording. So I'm going to go in and do some recording. And if you could see, that green light will come on now. So a status bar symbol will come on to let you know that you're recording. So... I mean, you know, it's good. You know, you don't want to be just recording random stuff, taking up your storage or, you know, have turned it on on accident or, you know, just forgot you're recording. You know, at least you have a little indicator now that let you know. All right, guys. So another cool thing was AirPods. So the AirPods now, when you connect them to your phone, they will automatically connect to your iPad, your Apple TV, whatever other device you have. So it's just it's seamless. So if I have my um, AirPods and they're connected to my iPhone and then I start messing with my iPad or watching a video on there, they automatically connect. And if my phone then rings, they will automatically connect back to my phone so I can answer the call. So, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. And if it works and implemented correctly, I think that it'll <laughs> really, really work. But um, I still gotta test it out and see, but um, I think that's a really, really cool really cool thing, especially when sometimes I have problems like connecting them back and forth. And especially if I have it on a different device, like an Android device or something. And then I try to go back to my phone and it's just, just a thing sometimes. Okay guys, that is everything that I'm gonna show you today. Now, there are two other features and that is messaging and sleep tracking. And I'm actually gonna do another video to cover messages and another video to do sleep tracking because they're a little bit more in depth. I wanna jump into them. 
So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Uh, iOS 14 is available now for developers in the beta and probably soon. I don't know when actually they're going to release it for the public beta, but uh, you can jump and get it now if you're a developer or, you know, if you Google and find other means how to get it. But all right, guys, if you found value in this video, please click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new video I release. And if you could smash that like button, leave me a comment or two and share this video, you would be amazing. You would just make my dick. As always, this is Jason and I'll catch you in the next one.